By now, fans who hit Coachella over the past two weekends are back home. But for a majority of those who actually live in the region, their reality is far removed from the festival's glitz and glam. I'm Doma T. Pungo, and this is MTV News. Need to know. This year, tickets to Coachella were over $500, making it the most expensive festival ticket this year. It remains the highest grossing festival in the country. And yet, locals in the economically deprived Coachella Valley in Southern California don't benefit from the millions of dollars in revenue. Journalists and local advocates have been trying to get the story of local residents on people's radars for years. Coachella headlines were dominated by Frank Ocean dropping out of Weekend 2, Sean Mendez and Camila Cabello seemingly hooking up, and Zendaya surprising fans during Labyrinth set. But when the stars aren't in town, Coachella Valley is home to a booming farming industry upheld by a large immigrant population facing serious labor issues. Journalist Bianca Graulau spent some time there and described their living conditions on TikTok. They can only afford to live in places like mobile home parks where there's arsenic in the water. Arsenic, like the thing that can give you cancer. And this is the same location where the festival comes in every year and makes more than $100 million in profit. Yes, some businesses will benefit from that economic activity, but most of the people living in Coachella Valley will not see that money. She and others tried to bring more attention to the marginalized locals at this year's fest. Immigrant advocacy organization, TODEC, put up 10 billboards near the concert site, dubbing local farm workers the real Coachella. On Sunday, United Farm Workers held a food distribution event benefiting 400 farm worker families. The organization tweeted that many people who feed us can't feed their own families. The focus on Coachella Valley is just one small look at a much larger problem in our country, where farm workers do grueling work for little money and no benefits. The federal minimum wage for farm work is just $7.25. At least 70% of farm workers are foreign born and some are undocumented, making them an easier population to exploit. The National Labor Relations Act says the minimum wage for farm work needs to be raised to $15 an hour. MSNBC columnist Julio Ricardo Varela says that when covering Coachella, a lot of outlets are missing an opportunity to highlight this issue. Publishing stories about angry influencers will always take precedence. Once again, America's farm workers, or better stated, America's immigrant and Latino farm workers get ignored. Last year's Coachella lineup had more Latin performers than ever before, and this year Bad Bunny became the first Latin headliner. But that representation on stage hasn't translated into substantive support on the ground. Only one of 60 food vendors on the festival site was local. And while some locals do often get extra work as garbage collectors during the fest, they only made $11 an hour, according to the most recent poster report. Now, advocates aren't against the festival. They simply want to raise awareness of the disparities between Coachella concert goers and locals as a means of trying to close that gap. We also can't single out Coachella like it's the only event that neglects poor communities. From the Olympics to the World Cup to the construction of large concert and sports arenas, there are countless stories to tell about events that tout togetherness and community, all while marginalizing locals. Concert lineups are becoming more diverse, in no small part thanks to public pressure. So if fans and artists use that same energy to advocate for marginalized communities, we may get closer to closing that gap. Becky G, who took to the main stage this year, was awarded the key to the city. She spent some time with local fans and wrote in part on Instagram. This year's festival lineup gives me so much hope for more space, opportunity, and representation for our Latin communities. It feels like the perfect opportunity to use the massive platform that is this global event to shine a spotlight on the real stars of Coachella, the people. I'm Doma T. Pongo, and that's what you need to know.